Okay, so we will begin. Um, so we are going to start um, sit, seated, but I want you, if you are seated already, you can stay seated. And I just want you to shake out and just loosen yourself up. Just get out all the, all the whatever's there, <laughs> all the little tightnesses and just move in some unusual way that will get you, you know, and if you want, you can do a little bouncing. If you're standing, even if you're sitting, you could bounce while you're sitting. Just give yourself a little, you know, bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. So whatever, this, uh, any kind of bouncing gets the lymph going and the circulation, all, everything's got to move. Our breath, our blood, our lymph, okay? Good. And then, if you are seated and want to sit on a blanket, please, please do, okay? So if you need to sit on something, or you can roll in your mat, or you can take a cushion, okay? So I'm gonna come off this for a second. Just come onto your elbows, and we're gonna separate the feet, and just go from side to side. Just very gently. Be curious. Good. And then just kick your own butt. If it doesn't touch, practice, it will. Good. And then just jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Shake, 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 shake. And then to get your feet, get your legs all woken up, just points and flex, alternating. I have a soft bend in my legs. Good. And then scrunch and stretch. It's funny, I never saw the bottoms of my feet like that. <laughs> and then circle. And the other way. Good. And jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. Beautiful. So coming to a seated position. Start with your right leg in front. So this is my left, but I'm gonna call it my right. Okay? So I'm gonna take my right foot in front. If this is not comfortable for you, you can sit with your legs out, or one leg at a time, or release and come back, okay? So we're gonna take the fleshy part and just pull the fleshy part back so your sitting bone is grounded. Turn your thigh muscles in. And good. And then the fleshy part here. And in. Good. And here. Just turn the calf muscle out. And that kind of helps the knees come down. If your knees are higher than your hips, you do want to elevate your mat, your seat, so that you're a little higher, okay? So sitting in this beautiful position, we're just going to circle around on the sitting bones. So go in one direction. And we're going to add breath to this. So as you come forward, you're going to breathe in. And as you go back, you're going to breathe out. So we're going to go with the hot breath, just gentle. Breathe in forward. Just circle around on your sitting bones like they are ball bearings. So when I come forward, I'm like in a dog spine. I'm not really rounding when I come back, but I'm leaning back and circling around. A couple more times. Good. And then bringing that into the other direction. Good. 
Good. A few more times around. I like to think of those sitting bones as ball bearings and just rolling around on your ball bearings. Good. And coming back to center. Taking a deep breath in and out. Good. So now, make believe you're on a camel ride. And this is very nice for gently loosening up the lower back. I know some of you, you know, sometimes complain about some tightness. So do this gingerly and with consciousness as we do everything. So you can make believe you're on a camel. You can either hold, this can be like your, what are they called, saddle, and you, or a horse. And you're just tipping the pubic bone down and then the tailbone. So we're isolating. Before we were just doing the sitting bones. Now we're just doing a very gentle camel ride. Okay, so breathing in forward and breathing out back. So the navel comes in, you feel that navel coming in and up. So you can also do a little hot breath. <sighs> Gentle. more times. Good, and just come to a place where your ears, shoulders, hips are in alignment. Take your arms behind you and squeeze your shoulder blades together, opening up the heart space, feeling your arm bones coming back, planting those shoulder blades on your back, lengthening from your tailbone through your crown. Good. And we'll just circle the shoulders around. Big circles. Starting off gentle. A couple more times. Just round. Forward. Up. Back. Down. Breathing in and out. Good. Nice. And then bringing that to a close. Make believe your you're your face is like a clock and your nose is circling around the clock. So you're just doing some gentle head movements here. Circle the clock. So you can go noon. Get all the time in. And then in the opposite direction. Right here, some little cracks and creaks. Just be gentle. Good. Beautiful. And bring that to a close. And then just taking your fingers, just smooth, smooth across from the center of your brow, across, across your face. Just smooth out. Good. Smooth the back of your neck. And take your hands and squeeze your trapezius muscles, your shoulder muscles. Just give them a little massage. And then rake your fingers down, in, across, and out. So just wring out any tension, squeeze it out. <sighs> Again. Down and ha. big breath in. Ha. Like you're sending that tension right to the earth. Squeeze, 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 and ha. beautiful. So just shake out your legs. Shake, 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 shake. Circle. And we'll come back with the right leg in front. We'll switch in a little while. Those little sitting bones like to. Creep forward, so always pull them back. Do some sun breaths. So I want you to feel as though your arms are floating up, that you are not lifting your arms, okay? So start breathing in to, to your, breathe down into your belly, your middle, and your high, your upper chest. Take a breath in. 
and then let the arms float up, turn shoulder height, fingertips touch, and reach and stretch. And then shower yourself down. Breathe in and float. Fingertips touch, stretch. Open up your beautiful energy field. Reach, stretch that spine, open up. Last time, breathe in, let the fingertips touch up. And we're gonna take the left hand, so you have a choice, you can leave it here. If you wanna have, if you can hold your opposite knee or thigh, wherever that works. So stretch up, really stretch that right side. Plant your right sitting bone. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, just come over, stretch. Take another deep breath in. As you exhale, stretch a little bit more. Now look down to your knee. Look up to your palm. Look forward. Now this is optional. You could breathe here, but if you like, Give yourself a gentle little twist. So it's like the heart and the nose are looking up and stretching. And you can come up a little bit more. And then inhale your arm back up. Bring your arms out and down. And we'll inhale the left arm up, stretch. Bring this arm here or here. Lift, really stretch. Press into that sitting bone. Dynamic opposition here. Take a deep breath in. As you exhale, just float over. Breathe in again. Exhale, stretch a little bit more. Look down. And up. Into front. And then your optional little twist, just turn a little, reach. This is a gentle twist. It's more for the upper body. Come back to neutral, bring your palms out, bring your hands in front of you, just slide them forward, bend your elbows, and just let your chin go to your chest. And take three breaths here. Draw your navel in towards your spine. Relax your jaw. Feel the breath like lifting you, pulsing you up, and then squeeze it out, lowering down. Two more times. Good. And then chin to your chest. Just slide the hands back. Roll yourself up. And bringing your arms behind you, take your feet out, and we're gonna come into a reverse table. So wrap those glutes. Now here's an opportunity, spread those toes, press into your feet, feel the glutes, feel your heart space open, and feel your arm bones being hugged by your muscles. Let those upper arm muscles come towards your shoulders, and then come back down. Good. So this time, shake out a pen and bring the left leg in front. And we're just gonna pick it up from that side stretch and twist and breath, okay? So we're gonna pull up the arms up, let them touch, reach, open up. Breathe in. Let each breath exhale to shower your energy fields. Peace and calm. And last time, inhale up. And we'll keep the left hand right and go here or here. Stretch and reach. Breathing in. Exhale over. Breathe in again. 
Exhale again. Give it a stretch. It's like a miracle the way those muscles just release. Look down. Look up. Look neutral. And then give yourself a gentle little twist. Coming back. Coming up. Stretch open. And we'll change sides. Here or here, lift up. And come over. Nice, easy movements. No stress or strain. Give yourself that magic breath. And then stretch those muscles of respiration in between the ribs. Look down. Look up. Look neutral. And then if you want to, see how I'm even pulling just a little bit. Lift up, lift that heart and nose. And come back to neutral, arms out. And I'm gonna get rid of my blanket, you don't have to. So we're gonna to come to that reverse table again. Right, just stretch up, hug those bones. And then come back to seated. And we're going to lift up, trying to balance on our sitting bones. Give yourself a little rock. You can rock back and forth with this. Just be playful. Have a little fun. You're too serious all the time, trying to do things right. Just, just say, oh, I'm rocking back and forth. Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe not. Okay, so we want to activate our abdominals, right? We want to draw those feet and be able to open it up. Okay, so keep one, you can put one foot down if you like and just give it a lift up like this. This is a, like a half boat pose, go like this. And we're gonna stretch, open up the chest. So we're giving that resistance to this leg. This elbow is a little bent. You can hold here or you can use your tie. Hold wherever you can, it doesn't really matter. Just give it a little stretch. Breathe, lift up the heart, nice diagonal spine from the crown to the tail. And then bring that foot down and do the other. Stretch. Feel the hugging action that's going on with your femur bone. Good. Now, you could do that again, or you could try to do a half boat. A whole boat. <laughs> there you go. So I'm balancing. I'm drawing my navel in and up. You might have your knees a little bent. Your shins are parallel to the earth. And if you want, you can go like that. Open up the heart space. Use your abdominals. Try to find your balance. Good. And then come down. Take your shake. Take shake. We're going to do one more. And this is called upward facing triangle, Upavista Konasana. So you can do one leg at a time, just to get a little stretch out, and be a little triangle here. Ta da! And then try to find your balance. And I want you to just have some fun with this. What will help you? Should you do just one leg? Can you do two? My knees are bent, I'm bending my elbows too. And then I'm trying to stretch out into an upward facing triangle. So let my heels reach, give my calves a little stretch. Let the heart come through. Beautiful. And then bring the soles of your feet together. You're hinging at the groin, and this is a little turtle. So I'm just gonna become a little turtle. And just, I like when you breathe in, just. Let your torso rise a little, and then exhale, let it drop, pulse. Bring the pulse of life into your body. Two more breaths. And then come up. Shake, 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 shake. Bring those sitting bones back. So we're going to do uh, one more sitting series like this before we move on. And this, I like, I call it a trilogy. 
um, because our bodies are going to be at a right angle. So we have the spine like this. Then we're going to come into a lift, and then we're going to do a forward bend. So if you need a tie for your forward bend, please have it handy, okay? So with the right angle, see, I don't want to be like this. I want to bring my sitting bones back. And I'm, I want you, you to stretch through your heels now. If you have a block, you can squeeze it in between your legs or have your imaginary block, okay? So my legs are really active. In this pose, it's staff pose, you are really strong. Okay, from my crown to my tail, straight line, open heart space, shoulder bones back. This is really good for your hands. It's actually a therapy for carpal tunnel. So you want your wrists in a nice right angle here. Claw the mat or the floor with your hands, your finger pads. Feel your metacarpals. Your arch can be lifted and the heel of your hand is down. So push into that to your comfort. Press through your heels, breathe through your crown. Breathe, feel your crown going to the ceiling, to the heavens, tailbone to the center of the earth. Feel powerful. And we're gonna take five breaths here. And imagine that you're breathing through the crown to your tailbone, sitting bones, and out through the heels. Breathe through the heels, so the soles of your feet, to the sitting bones, and out through the crown. Visualize this breath moving. And I want you to take three more breaths on your own. Powerful. Good. Now slide your hands back. Prepare your upper body. Shoulder blades opening up the heart, arm bones back. So I'm going to give you two choices. You can come back to that reverse table, or you can have a, a lift the inclined plank. I use this very often when my hands get tired. So do whatever works for you. Now, another thing I just want to point out, if my hands are not in the right position, I want my wrists under my shoulders. Sometimes, People have their hands too close and they can't get up or they're too far back and they have no support. And that's what I meant by keeping in alignment. So if you're not happy when you come up, come back down and go up again, okay? So I want you to try that twice on your own or you could do this and you could just do this, whatever you choose, okay? But notice, you wanna find when you come up, when you're in alignment, you can stay in a pose forever. <laughs> when you're not, it's impossible. Good. So, and then have your little tie handy, sitting bones back again. Notice when the sitting bones come forward, that's when that lower back rounds. When you're right on those sitting bones, bam. All right, so you can take your tie. I'm gonna use the tie, you don't have to. If you can, you know, reach your toes, okay? And I'm gonna come with a nice, long right angle again, and then I'm hinging, hinging, hinging over, and then I'm just going to drape my body. My crown is reaching for my ankles, okay? Scoop in the abdominals to support your back. No overstretching. Press through the heels. Relax now. See if you could take three breaths. Each breath allowing you to surrender. These are tough poses. This is a tough pose. It can get you tense, like, ugh, I gotta come forward. No. Soften. If you can hold on, just soften. And then look up and just come back up. 
these inner abdominals. So we're going to do that series one more time. Mm. Okay. You'll feel stronger and more relaxed. Okay, just relax into this pose. Hands. If you have long arms, you could bring your elbows in. You can come like this. There's always options to give you what you need. So come into your staff pose. Five breaths. Breathe like the wind. Squeeze that imaginary block. Press through your heels. Press into those sitting bones. Up through the crown, arm bones back, heart open. Relax your jaw. Feel your breath, silky, smooth, and full. And then just slide your hands back and come into your incline plank. Fists or hands lift up. And come back when you're ready. And you can bring your arms up if you like. And let your pinkies reach, reach, reach for mine. As you're hinging over. Draw your navel in and up, abdominals gently engage. When you can't come forward anymore, just hold on wherever you can. You can have a bend in your knee and just relax down. Take five breaths here, and I really want you to feel the surrender, the softening. Shake it out again because we just were very static and holding. Rub your wrists. One nice massage, and we'll do it on the upper body, is to just go round and round on the joints and up and down the long bones. Round and round on the joints and up. We used our arms now. Woo. Circle it. Other side. Round and round. And up and down. Round and round. Up and down. Good. And then loosey goosey. Any movement that loosey looses you up. Ah, good. So we're going to come over, we're making our way to some fun stamping poses. So we're just going to work our way over up to a table pose. So your knees are under your hips. Beautiful hand work. Those hands are so important. Grabbing with the pads of the fingers, the metacarpals, round the heel. Okay. Even if the joints are up on the finger, it's fine. Wrists under your shoulders or a little forward. And let's do some, my favorite, cats and dogs. Let's make it a nice expression for you. And then we're going to bring fingertips to elbows. This way. Fingertips to elbows and make a clasp. And I want you to feel, try to get those pinkies, your wrists, your arm bones, and your elbows around your shoulders. And then just step one leg out at a time. 
So I don't want my butt up. I don't want my thigh, my groin sinking. I want to be strong. Now everyone's going to be at a different level with this. Come down and come up again. See how many, see how many breaths you can take without feeling, you know, stressed or anything. Just breathe. Do your abdominals. Squeeze that block. Hug your arm bones. Let's hug everything in towards center. And then feel the energy through your heart and crown moving front and your heels moving back. Good. And then just come down. Make a little pillow. Bend your knees and just windshield wipe your legs back and forth. We're just going to rest for a moment, breathing into the belly, relaxing your body. Notice your breath. Try to quiet it back down. Okay, so we're going to do um, just a little back strengthener. So always be mindful of your lower back. Um, so pressing into your pubic bone and hip bones helps. Also engaging your abdominals gently. Okay, and working your upper back. Feel those shoulder blades coming in towards the front of your body. So stretch your fingers and toes away. And taking a deep breath in, just lift three inches off the floor, stretching, really working the upper back muscles out to the side. And if you can, yoga mudra, side, stretch, come down, bend the knees, and just release your back by letting the legs go side to side. And then just stretch one leg out. If you could grab on, fine. If not, take a tie or just bend your leg because we want to feel that thigh muscle. Feel your quads stretching. If you can, you could just lift, press that foot away, and you could do a half bow. And come back, head down. Other side. If not, just bend the leg and you could just lift it up like this. And here, if you can, stretch this and pull away. Come back and down. And do that windshield wiper thing. It releases the lower back. You can let your head, you can make it big. Explore with your body. Good. Then we're going to bring the hands under the shoulders. Come up through table. Stretch back. Stretch your back. However this works for you. Okay? Just moving my hips from side to side. It's almost like a puppy child pose. Good. And then... Curl, come back to a table, curl your toes, and we're going to do a dog hold. A downward facing dog is really good for stretching your back. Okay? So just come into your dog. You can walk your dog. And I want you to take a moment to do any movements that will make your back feel great. Stretch it in any way, because we just contracted some of those muscles. Now just loosen them up. Good. And then slowly make your way to your hands and feet together. If you want, hold your elbows. That'll give you back another little stretch. Engaging your abdominals. That's your core. And just 
come up to a flat back and to standing. And we're going to take a moment to just move. So just move in any creative, flowy way to loosen up your body and counterbalance those holding moves, so stretching, reaching. One of the stages of yoga is to let yoga do you, to say, what does my body need now? And feeling it, not thinking it. All right, what do I need to do to make me feel? Besides turning off the video. <laughs> so just move. You could circle your hips, circle your head. Dance around and stretch. So I like to do my standing poses on the floor. Sometimes I find I don't get the good grounding with my mat. So that's your choice. So people love their mat and that's cool. So come to standing, spread your toes. Same thing like the hands, feel your metacarpals, your toe pads, the edges of your feet, outer feet in the center of your heel. Press your palms, tailbone down, crown reaching. And we're going to come into a tree pose. And that's a nice weight bearing one. So you can be a low branch, middle, or high. And what I want you to do, do not let the hip come like that. You want to bring it into center, OK? So you want to be a tall, beautiful tree. And the same with this tree. You can do any arm movement you want. Be a tree in the wind. My branch fell. Good. Push into the floor. Let your roots grow down. Let your beautiful leaves shine in the sun. And then come to the other side. So spread your toes. Hip in. <laughs> Press your palms. Make This is a great isometric. Press your foot and inner leg together. Press your palms. So you can wrap those glutes. Notice that that gives you stability. One of the most important things that I also read for the bone is that yoga is good for balance. We need balance, especially as we age. Good. Ta-da. And come back and shake it out. So separating your feet fairly wide, okay? Let's lift up the right foot and just turn it out. And the left goes 45 degrees. So I'm trying to keep my torso facing as front as possible. Okay, so take your left hand around like this, to really open up your chest, and this hand's gonna reach. So we're coming into a triangle. Feel your thigh muscles drawing up to the groin. Open up your heart and stretch. And then come back. Arm bones in. This is out. This is out. And reach in the opposite direction. So I didn't do this part, but if you feel if you're turned in, it's a nice way to open up the front and stretch. Engage, hug, love your bones, and come back. Good. 
So we're going to add on to that. We're going to do something now called the horse moose pose. So your feet are out. Bring your hands in and it's ha. Breathe in. Ha. Ha. So you're bending your knees over your toes, okay? And you're bringing the reins in. Ha. 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 Hold it and come with jazz hands. You're going to be a goddess. So hold the pose. Open up your legs if you can. Stretch those inner thighs. Your knees are coming over your second and third toes if possible. If not, bring your toes in a little. Good. Jazz hands. <sighs> beautiful. And come into your beautiful star. Shine five pointed through every extremity. Take a deep breath in. Exhale through all five points. Come up to a shooting star. Heels up, reach, shine. And then come down to a jazz hand, lion. Back to our star. Come back up. Reach. Bring your palms together and down. Bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, and just feel. These poses can get our heart rate up. Just breathe in. We're going to breathe in the energy up and down. Feel as though you're breathing in and then grounding. Feel the energy coming up and down and up and down. Last time and down. So coming here. We're going to do a fun little um, warrior two that has a little bow and arrow element. So it does have a little twist, and that'll be optional for those of you who are not twisting a lot today. So take this foot out and right foot 90. And so I'm going to separate a little wider. You have a choice. This foot can go in or out, OK? The bent knee is over your ankle. So I'm going to come out a little bit so I feel grounded. Lift up your toes, spread and put them down. Good. Take your hands here, chest forward, and bring your thumbs up, OK? Anchor those arm bones, stretch out, stretch through the crown, down through the feet. Feel your tailbone like an anchor. So now look over. We're going to take this left hand and we're going to bring it over and pull the bow. Okay? Look at your thumb on your right hand, elbow back, pull that thumb. And now, just look at me for a second. I'm going to let the bow go and I'm going to go. So the other elbow comes back and I punch. Okay? And then I'm going to come back. So let's try that again. Breathe in. Look at your thumb. Bring that arm over. Pull the bow. Pull it right across your chest. OK? Get it taut. Feel like you're really in an archery class. And now, right elbow comes back, and the left arm punches. Make the chew sound. It helps. One more time. Breathe in. Pull that bow back. Thumb stretching. And come back. Ta-da. Turn the feet forward. Just hinge a little bit. Good. Rub your back. 
little back bend, and we'll do it to the other side. So turn that foot out. Be as wide as you feel stable. Really ground into those feet. Push into the floor and then dynamically rise out of that, okay? <sighs> Fingertips here. Thumbs. Look at your thumb. Bring the right hand. Pull the bow. Stretch those thumbs. Stretch those arms. And punch. And breathe in. And punch. And breathe in. And release your bow with a punch. Come back, stretch, turn, stretch, come forward, hands on your that lower back, press your pelvis forward, thigh bones back, telescope and breathe. Ah, good. And then if you choose to do a forward bend, you can come to here. If you want to come all the way down, just stretch yourself through. Good. And come back up. And just shake out again. And we will prepare for some relaxation. So if there's anything you would like to do, any movements, any things, we're going to do a little cool down. So come to your mat. I don't have to say make sure you're too warm because it is warm today. And stretch yourself out. Give yourself a nice, small, mm, delicious, delicious, delicious stretch. And walk your shoulders away from your ears, lengthen your neck. Hmm. Take a deep breath in and make a sound if you choose. <sighs> and we're going to do a full body isometric just to give us one more little squeeze out. And imagine you're squeezing out any tension, holding anything you want to release. Big breath in and tight, tight, tight. Toes, glutes, face, arms, legs. Tight, 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 tight. <clears throat> Big noise. Two more times. Squeeze tighter and tighter. More tight than you think you are able. And ha! <sighs> and last time. Big breath in. Squeeze shoulders to the ears. <clears throat> okay, I think I, I think I got it out. <laughs> I hope you did too. Ha! <sighs> Just bring one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly. Breathe deeply and fully. So just bring your knees into your chest for a moment. We'll just give yourself, make yourself into a little ball. And stretch out one leg. And give yourself a gentle knee down twist. With a little resistance now, I'm going to isometric my leg into my hand, trying to get my leg to try to straighten out. I'm going to bring my um, arch to my knee on this one, these variations. And then just let it relax, very gentle. And then bring that knee into your chest. Stretch the opposite heel away. This is nice for your lower back. Nice little stretch. Put the heel down, slide it away, bring the other knee in. Stretch the heels, thigh to your chest. And then bring it over. A little resistance, you feel your abductors. And then release that. Relax. Good. 
Bring that leg back, thigh in. And just jiggle, jiggle down, jiggle, jiggle. Shake out anything that needs to release and let yourself come into Shavasana, the most important pose for you to integrate. Relax your jaw, your shoulders. Any thoughts that come, whatever arises for you, observe it with detachment and come back to your breath. So we'll take a few minutes of Shavasana. And deepening your breath. Begin to wiggle your fingers and toes. And rotate your ankles and wrists. Gently moving your head from side to side. Stretch your arms overhead and point your toes full body on. And then bring your arms down, bend your knees. Just let your legs go from side to side, a nice gentle twist.
And then coming over into a fetal position, deep C curve. Just rest on your side. And very slowly, come up to a seated position and trying to keep this equanimity, soft senses, just going to sit for a minute, call it our one minute New York meditation, could be a minute. And just going to, in a seated position, without judgment, scanning your body for how it feels in this very moment in time, just noticing And noticing the quality of your breath. And noticing the quality of your mind. Without judging, just noticing how are all these aspects for you showing up. And then we'll just sit for a minute, breathing, focusing on the breath, quieting the mind, bringing the mind into the breath, noticing as anything arises, just come back to notice you're breathing in and out. We'll just sit for one minute. You'll see how long a minute really is. <laughs> Very slowly, let your palms find each other, just float together. Bring your thumbs to your heart, lifting your heart. May the peace in your heart bring peace to the world. Namaste. Thank you. Sorry, one minute. 